hydrogen minus ion. In this lesson, we'll look at the negative hydrogen ion and then use Newton's and Coulomb's law to calculate the ionization energy of the hydrogen atom. To start, we need a model of the hydrogen atom. We know from quantum mechanics that atoms have electrons residing in clouds with no fixed orbits. However, to help us understand the essential concepts, let's use the classical model of a proton orbited by a single electron at a fixed radius. If a second electron is added to the proton, it becomes what is known as a negative hydrogen ion. So, how do we make one? We start with hydrogen gas, and then use energetic electrons to knock the orbiting electron off the proton, overcoming the electrostatic force between them. As the electrons recombine with the proton, a few protons end up with two electrons, creating negatively charged hydrogen ion. So how much energy does it take to split the electron off the proton? Let's calculate it. We can find the force holding the electron to the proton using Coulomb's law. We know the charges, masses, and the effective radius from other experiments. Opposite charges attract, and the resulting inward force creates a centripetal acceleration which keeps the electron in its orbit. Combining our knowledge of the Coulomb force and the centripetal acceleration, we can calculate the electron's velocity. Let's first substitute in the expression for the centripetal acceleration, and then rearrange the formula to isolate the velocity on the left-hand side. Plugging in the known values for the charges, the mass of the electron, and the radius, we can determine the electron's velocity. Now let's find the kinetic and electrical potential energy of the orbiting electron. We begin by calculating the kinetic energy using the value we determined for the velocity and plugging in the known value for the electron's mass. Now let's calculate the potential energy by plugging in the known values of the electron and proton's charges and the radius of the electron. We discover that the potential energy is negative. Adding the kinetic and potential energies together gives us the total energy of the electron. A negative total energy means that the electron is bound to the proton. So to remove the electron from its proton requires adding this much ionization energy. The actual ionization energy is 2.18 times 10 to the minus 18 joules, so our calculation using Newton's and Coulomb's law is very close. If you'd like to try something a bit more challenging, refer to the workbook and we'll show you how to estimate the ionization energy of the negative hydrogen ion.